Okay, so for part two, day one of our social media class, um, what I want to do first is show you a, a couple of online tools that I think would be very useful for you because last month we covered four different networks and the question would come up about can I post the same thing to different networks, it's a lot to manage, how can I manage it easier? I personally like to log into every network and manage each network individually. But for those of us that have a business to run as well as social media, it's more work. So I'm going to show you here a couple of tools that will help automate you managing more than one network. You want to open your web browser and we'll go to this address. Hoot sweet.com h o o t s u i t e hootsuite.com hootsuite.com if you're in the right place it has a little owl and it's the social media management dashboard this is a website this is software that will help you manage more than one network i do have to say right away with a lot of these tools they operate under the freemium model in that there are some aspects that are free and some aspects that are premium which is another word for not free so Hootsuite is like that too you get some aspects that are free and then the more powerful aspects are not free but a lot of websites and a lot of software operates like this games for example you download that, that fun game totally for free, but then if you want more gold, that's 99 cents. If you want more health, that's 99 cents. If you want more levels, that's 99 cents. And suddenly you've paid $10 for a free game, or $100. Now, many of these websites and tools are similar to that to some degree. So in my notes here, tools for managing multiple social networks. One is Hootsuite. Another one we'll look at in a moment. It's called Buffer. Buffer.com. So taking a quick look at Hootsuite, get serious about social, join 10 million professionals. It goes on to tell you you'll be able to manage your Facebook, your Twitter, YouTube, Google+, LinkedIn, Instagram, and 35 popular social networks at once. So instead of logging into each network and, and um, you know, spending all that time figuring out your logins and all of that, it's one login into Hootsuite. Once you've connected your networks into Hootsuite, then you'll be able to manage them. And in modern websites, modern software tools, um, Hootsuite technically does not know your password for these. In modern websites, they've got it set up that if you log into LinkedIn, LinkedIn will verify who you are and then it will vouch for you, so to speak, to Hootsuite. <laughs> so Hootsuite never gets your password, but they do get the management capabilities. So Hootsuite doesn't get your Twitter password. Twitter just vouches and says, this is the right person, and yes, Hootsuite, you can manage Twitter. So it goes on and on. It says security, collaboration, analytics, so you'll be able to see data. How well are your social media campaigns working and all of that? Uh, who uses it, etc. Okay, sounds great. What are the, what are the plans? Uh, let's see. What can we look at that? Plans. There's the free professional team. Compare plans. Just taking a quick look, I just want to maybe see some prices. Set up for a limited free plan for individuals includes three social profiles. So you'll be able to manage three networks if you go for the free one. Yes? On the analytics, is it the same if you want the individual to the platform? Are they extracted? You get some of that information, yes, but then they provide their own information too because then you're creating this account which lets you do different things on the networks. So you get both analytics from the original network and then their own style and content of analytics. So the free one with three networks might be all I need. Maybe I decided that I'm going to run Twitter and Facebook. Well, the free one will work just fine. Maybe I want to do YouTube 
and uh, Instagram and Twitter. So three. Once I want to get more powerful, well then we start with a nine ninety five a month, billed annually. So you have to you have to get a contract for one year at nine ninety nine. If you want to do it month by month, fourteen ninety nine a month. And it goes on to other prices. So if you're if you're going to be a professional and you want to manage ten networks and all of these other features like content suggestions. I am going to try to post something, as I said previously, once a week. Maybe one day I get writer's block. With this version of the plan, it looks like they suggest to you more things that you can share, more content that will let you reach an audience. Okay, the next level up then is a team. You can manage more networks, you get more items, six social media templates, so starting points. You can get a little one-on-one -on -one training to work better. If you need more, then you, there's the business level, and then over if you're at the enterprise level, don't ask. Not yet. <laughs> you then can check the price with them. So this is one network, Hootsuite. Uh, the free one might work just fine. Paid ones give you more features. Perhaps using the uh, the free one will be a good starting point. And then also, over at the uh, education tab at the top, there are all of these various free online courses that teach you about more social media. Get the training and certification you need to grow your career. So if I want to learn about uh, social marketing training and other courses, that's up at the top there under education. This is Hootsuite Academy. Advanced social strategy. So some more free information there. Let's take a quick look at the other uh, the other tool, Buffer. B U F F E R buffer.com. It's a variation of Hootsuite. There's many websites that are in this same space, meaning that they've got the same sort of product. They're trying to do the same thing. Here's another one, Buffer. So a better way to share on social media. You create an account on Buffer. We will see the different prices. <coughs> then you connect your Pinterest to it, you connect your Instagram, and then you manage it all on one login on your desktop, tablet, or smartphone. So instead of logging into each network, you can log into one and manage all at once. There's the free version. Let's see if we can see products. Here we go, pricing. So for the free tier, it's free. Social profiles, one platform, scheduled posts, social networks. Um, so here you can access these networks. No extra team members, but here's something that might be useful, scheduling posts. Uh, I don't want to be chained to my Twitter account and have to post, remember to post something every week. So I can schedule posts that go out automatically. The next level is the $10 a month, the awesome plan. That's 10 different networks that you can manage at once. Uh, 100 scheduled posts, a couple more networks you can connect to, like Pinterest. Then you're going over to teams and agencies, $99. Um, you know, the price jumps up pretty fast, but just another, another tool to do this. I've used more often of the two. I've used Buffer more. Um, that's the one I have a little bit more to say about. I've used Hootsuite a bit, but not very recently. And as I said, I personally like to uh, use the networks individually. I like to log into each network, use each network, use its tools. But these aggregators are useful if I don't have the time or the will to manage them all individually. And there's some other ones out there. Uh, these other ones, let's see this one. Um, 
they've changed this one. I haven't used this one in a while also. Bottlenose.com. And it seems much more advanced than I remember it a few years ago. But um, Bottlenose. It looks like they ripped off the Chargers logo, but that's a dolphin, I guess. Uh, Bottlenose.com, that's another website for you to manage and to get analytics and data. Because it's one thing that, okay, I'm going to tweet every single day, but what's your goal? What's your result? Are you using the data to make good decisions then to make further tweets? So uh, we touch on all of these concepts in the class, um, and we'll continue to do so. But here's one more. Does anyone else know or has heard of, perhaps, any other social network management website? We can go look up. We can go look them up. There will be plenty of them. You just have to decide: do you want to use them or not, and then which one and what your budget is. As we talked about previously, with like Facebook, for example, you're going to get the most out of it if you pay to use Facebook more effectively. These networks also are very useful, or these tools are very useful if you pay a little bit. Yes. Well, like I said, I've used Buffer more often than Hootsuite recently, so that's the one I would prefer because I've used it more. They're both very good. People like them both a lot, but I personally have used Buffer a little bit more. Yes. It says social profiles one per platform. Mm -hmm. So how many platforms can we I believe they've changed this. I have a grandfathered in plan with a little bit more features, I think. It looks like they've changed it, so what that means is you will be able to choose one of these networks to manage. So even the free one doesn't sound that good anymore. Hootsuite free one sounds a little better. You can manage three networks. If you jump up to $10 a month, that's like a latte and a half. Uh, then you'll be able to manage 10 at once. All right, so one more thing, and then we'll get into LinkedIn. Any questions on any of these social network aggregators? Yes? There's one that's called Spreadcast. It's, I guess, national or international. So it looks interesting. I don't know much about it. Let's see what's up. So social media experience management software platform. We connect every business to the people they care about. OK. I don't believe I've heard of it. I want to look into it. It may be useful. Um, so let me put that in my notes. Spreadfast.com. Thank you for that. So I'll put, again, I'm going to put these notes at the, in the folder at the end of the day, or you can be writing your own notes. Um, I also want to mention here websites to keep up to date with. Um, you know, you come to the class, I'm talking about these different networks, it seems like I know everything about every one of them, and that's a good illusion, but I don't. But I do keep up with them as best as I can, I use them, as I said, I teach this stuff, but I'm also part of a company, I do this, we do this in a team, we're always learning from each other, things are changing, you learn something and then a few months later the network changes and there's a new feature. Well, to keep up to date with it, official network blogs, Every one of these networks has usually an official blog that keeps you up to date with their new tools. Usually you can find it at blog.whatever.com, blog.twitter.com, blog.facebook.com. Usually you can find the company blog at that address, that standard address. Sometimes it's facebook.com slash blog. Sometimes they switch that around, but the official blog of each network, I would recommend look look at them, keep up to date with it, see what they're saying because these networks change. One of my favorite networks is Periscope. I'm going to talk about it a little bit when we get to YouTube, but basically it's an app where you live stream video. You turn on Periscope and then all your followers will see what you're doing live at that moment. Well, Periscope has been evolving over the last few years. I keep up to date with their blog. They've added new features. You can draw on your live broadcast now, so you can draw an arrow pointing to something while you're showing people. So these networks change. Keep up to date with the official blog. But also, I like to keep up to date with 
these other sort of like industry blogs that cover a little bit of everything. One of them that I like is Mashable.com. We'll get these briefly in a moment. The Next Web. Dot com and social media examiner dot com. So you can always go to the official blogs or you can go to the, these blogs where people are in the industry and they're doing it and they're sharing their knowledge. Mashable, the next web, and social media examiner dot com. I'll take a quick look at Mashable. Mashable is kind of a general website about technology and social media and such, but here you can keep up to date with technology. And uh, Facebook is spinning off events into a separate app, but don't freak out. Okay, so Facebook is changing something again. Now they're putting their events in a separate app. Um, your screen might be a little different, but on mine, on the left, uh, I don't know if you see a menu like me, mine is hidden under these lines, but I see um, a, uh, a menu somewhere, maybe you've got it as a strip at the top, but I see a section only about social media. So if you want to focus on only social media, there is a section for that on Mashable. All right, so you can keep up to date with these networks, uh, not just on a level about like technology, um, like what's new with Facebook and such, but also concepts about ideas of what to what to share, maybe what trends um, are happening. There's examples of you know do's and don'ts. Um, so case studies and such. So that's one uh, that's Mashable. If you go then over to uh, the next web, same sort of thing. The next web. It's about technology, social media. Uh, you can keep up to date with what's happening because this stuff changes so much, and um, you never know when a brand new feature comes out then that uh, might be useful for you. This also keeps you up to date with some of the latest networks. Uh, just this year, there have been two brand new social networks that came out. One at the beginning of the year, there was a, a social network called Peach. Um, you don't really hear about it anymore. Uh, one that came out a few weeks ago is another network. It's called Hello. So another social network. You don't know which one will be a hit, which one will not be. But if you keep up to date with this, uh, you may find that this network that just debuted might be very useful for you and um, to reach an audience. So just kind of browsing around on the next web, I saw here a step-by-step -step guide to creating stunning images for your content. Because visuals are very important in our social media, here's an article that walks you step-by-step -step on uh, creating interesting content, visual content. It's just somewhere I was browsing around here, I ended up in the 
on NextWeb in the creative section, and I found that article. And lastly, the one that's most focused on what you might uh, care most about is socialmediaexaminer.com. This is one of the big names in social media, uh, social media usage. Uh, it might pop up with a free industry reports, a free book of 56 pages of information. You can get that at some point. It is pretty valuable. And so then they're going to go on to tell you uh, what's happening in various aspects of social media. There are, um, this is this is a blog. It's got updated articles, like Mashable, like the next web. What I like about uh, how Social Media Examiner does it is Oftentimes they have an article, but then they also have an audio version of it, a podcast version of it. So I don't have time to read it, but I'm going to go on a commute. So perhaps I'll download the article on my phone. You know, it's like books on tape. But Social Media Examiner does this a lot. I like that. They create an audio version of the article. This is off topic for the moment, but I'll put it in my notes. ideas for content creation. We've uh, been talking about some of these throughout the course previously. Uh, this one that I just saw here reminded me of this one, but you can do audio uh, blog posts. That of course requires some way to record your voice, and you can make it as complex as you want. It's simply you reading your article, or you put music on it, or more complexity, but it's an audio version of your articles. You yeah, have what's... To a what? Yes, this says right here. You can play it, you can view it, you can download it, you can get it on iTunes, SoundCloud, etc. So they've set it up that it can be... Uh, you can listen to it however you want. Um, and speaking of podcasts, the other variation of content creation is podcasts. I don't teach a class on this and I'm I would like to at some point, but podcasts are um, basically like uh, radio shows. Whereas if I'm going to listen to the news on the radio, I tune to a station in the car and I hear it at that moment. And if it's gone, it's gone. A podcast is that it's pre-recorded usually. I've recorded it and then I publish it, and people can listen to it on their iPod, on their iPhone, on their, an on their Android, on their tablet, on their home computer. Podcasts. Uh, basically radio shows. And again, from basic to complex. Basic is I simply you know, record myself on my phone, and then I upload it to, to my website, and then people can, can listen. More complex is I have guests on it, I have music on it, I have advertisers. So this would be a great class to teach. There's no plans for it at the moment, but uh, podcasts are a way to reach another audience. If you don't have time to tweet, but if you have time to, to talk to the other people in your company about a topic for five minutes, you, there's no limit to these, minimum or maximum. You can make a five-minute podcast. Once a week, release a five-minute podcast. Um, or, you know, once a month release an hour-long podcast. The point of that, again, is content. More content for you to be found. SEO and social media are tied together because they're all about content. The search engine can find you if there's content about you. If you only have a website, that's a little bit of content. But if you are also tweeting often, posting on Facebook often, putting out podcasts often, that's more content for you to get found. There's much more work, of course, than a tweet or a Facebook post, but it's something to think about. Let's see, eight blogger tools to help promote your content, seven ways to improve your search rank with social media, six ways to use Facebook 360 photos for business. So lots of great articles, all of them basically for free. And I will 
pester you here and there to download this and that, their, their book. Um, but they also have a conference. They have the Social Media Marketing World Conference, and it's right here in San Diego. Um, that is a variety of social media experts that are coming to San Diego. Uh, oh, it's only 13 hours until it starts. And yes, it is not free. It's a conference. If I see any prices here, but um, here we go. Limited time only. Save money. Only $947. Only 300 tickets are available at that price. All right. So those were some uh, some websites. There's plenty of other ones out there. If I uh, have other ones I'll let you know. Do any of you know of any websites around about social media to keep up to date? So I just did a search and there's a every every post. Every post. Let's take a quick look. Every <coughs> Well, this is more like the previous topic of the uh, buffer and such. No, I, I was asking I'm about sorry, the. Okay, so that might be one. That's everypost.me. I don't haven't heard of it, but it might be useful to look into. Um, okay, so that's some general information. 